officials from Delhi College Shopia, principals, teachers, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I am Reed Samadhar and uh, I am currently working as senior lecturer in physics at uh, Najee Munawar Boys High Secondary School, Shopia. I have been given an opportunity to speak on NEP 2020 by the organizers of this program for five minutes. I will start with the history of education policies in India. The first ever education policy in India was framed in 1968, followed by NPE National Policy on Education 1986, and then NEP 2020. So NEP 2020 is the third educational policy of independent India. Uh, background of uh, NEP 2020. Uh, NEP 2020 was drafted by uh, a committee led by former ISRO chairman, uh, Dr. K. Dr. K. Kusuri Randa. Uh, the committee, the uh, policy was framed uh, after consultation with all the stakeholders. I will explain here two terms which are related to public policy making. One is a top-down approach. Another is bottom-up approach. In top-down approach, the policy is framed at the highest uh, level of the government. Then that policy is, is transferred or shifted to the lower level, to the schools, to the colleges, which is being implemented at the lower level. However, in case of uh, this uh, bottom-up approach, in case of bottom-up approach, what we do is that we take feedback, we take suggestions from the ground level, from the school level. And this is very important. NEP 2020 has been framed in consultation with all the stakeholders, including parents, teachers, community members, education bodies, and other officials who are involved in the policy. And NEP 2020, it was uh, uh, approved uh, by the national, uh, by the uh, by the Union Cabinet of India on 29th July 2020. Uh, the key highlights are. Uh, since uh, the existing academic structure is 10 plus 2 pattern, we all know it. Now, in case of NEP 2020, the academic structure has been changed to 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. I think uh, Kashifa has already deliberated upon it. I won't go into the detail. Second important thing is flexibility. In our current academic structure, we don't we, we have very hard, we don't have uh, we don't have any, uh, you know, any uh, this, uh, flexibility. flexibility in case of uh, in case of subject. So why, why we why we choose the subject? subject we don't have we are, we, the students don't have the option to uh, to to switch from say for example uh, we have we have say science a student from science stream he can opt physics chemistry bio but he can't opt any subject from the humanities side. But in case of this uh, NEP 2020, it is very flexible. A student will be having the choices. He will be having the options to choose the subjects of his interest. That is one. Second important thing in case of uh, NEP 20 is that the local context is to be given the high respect. Because since we, we belong to Jammu and Kashmir UT, we have uh, some uh, relation with our culture, so that culture has to be incorporated in the education uh, policy. That is uh, a second thing. Uh, yes. Then a uh, third is uh, life skills. Life skills are very important. We know that the current global order, the world order is changing. We, in, in, in next few years, we will be having very less human intervention and will be having more technology based innovations and technology based setup available in our society. So in order to accumulate the students with the changing scenario of the world, it is important that we impart the education to them which is based on machine learning, artificial intelligence, computer based learning, ICTs, care centers and other issues which are related to the technology. Those life cycles have to be provided to the student. That's one. Second important thing is we have to shift from the rote learning to the conceptual understanding. A student should be able to comprehend the concepts, comprehend the concepts very well, and he should shift from. We should not give him some questions. Okay, so these are few questions. You have to memorize these questions. 
when he memorizes the questions his conceptual understanding will be very much less which we don't want and in nep 2020 more stress has been laid on the conceptual understanding that is one second important thing for example we have labels available at our home there are two kinds of labels available skilled unskilled labels skilled labels always get the higher wages in comparison to unskilled labors i remember one advertisement it was in the it was last year i remember one advertisement by one of the one of the schools in uh, srinagar district they had given the advertisement that uh, the salary for the teacher was fixed to be 4000 then salary for the driver was 8000 rupees so we can understand the difference between, you know, here, here comes the difference between skill and unskill. Okay, so we need to focus on the skills. We need to provide skills to the students in order to empower them. Then integrity and transparency, very important. Vocational education, the Kashpa has already discussed. Very important uh, point is integrity and transparency is very important. Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modiji, uh, while inaugurating the Vigilance uh, Awareness Week, he said that India is committed to zero tolerance against corruption. There is no space for the corrupt officials, there is no space for the corrupt functionaries. Number one, number second thing, number second thing, that all the departments will be rated on the basis of the pending corruption cases against them. So, more stress is being laid on the corrupt free society. Second, the corruption involved in teacher transfers and other issues related to the teaching learning process will be, will be, will be uh, reduced to zero. There should be no corruption at all, at any level. Okay, since I am from science and mathematics background, I will throw some light on uh, science and mathematics education, which has uh, uh, been mentioned in uh, uh, this NEP 2020. Number one is FLM, that is Foundational Learning and Numeracy. Uh, this is foundational Learning numeracy, numeracy. And numeracy, yes. Foundational literacy and numeracy means that a student should be able to comprehend few uh, words which are related to the languages, number one. Number second thing, he should be able to uh, uh, do simple mathematics say subtraction, addition, multiplication, division. I'll quote one example since uh, we are running short of time. I'll just quote one example. When we go to the market, when we go to the shop, shopkeeper and we, we, we have to buy something, we have to buy say chicken, okay? So he says that this, the, uh, the weight of this is one kilogram, four, one, one kg, 400 grams, okay? We are not able to get the idea as how much amount we have to pay. Hmm. But while the shopkeeper, without using the calculator, he is able to tell us that, okay, you have to pay some 232 rupees, exactly the same. Then, uh, then, uh, okay, just, I, I'll, I'll, okay. Then, uh, very important, that scientific temper and creativeness, that has to be developed among the students. We can uh, develop the scientific temper among the students by uh, conducting various uh, programs, various activity-based uh, programs for the students where we will use low-cost, low-cost material for the students in order to inculcate scientific temper among them. We have to go beyond the traditions, beyond the personal judgments, beyond any other influences. Next. Next, teacher, teacher education. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll conclude with one minute. Okay. Uh, teacher education, very important. In NEP 2020, teacher has been considered as the heart of education process, heart of learning process. This is very important. In previous times, teacher was given highest respect. He was considered as a guru. He was considered as a leader. And he was the most respectable person of the society. NEP 2020 talks about reviving that respect and the teacher should, deserves the highest regard, teacher deserves the highest respect in the society and we all have to restore that respect. Last, sharing of resources, 
very important. For example, we have two schools in the vicinity. In one school, we have very good infrastructure available, while as in the vicinity, some schools lack infrastructure. Then sharing of resources can take place. Like we have, we don't have auditorium available in any of the schools. We took the uh, we we took the help from government degree college Shopia. We used their infrastructure. This is also the part of uh, this uh, sharing. sharing. This, uh, NEP 2020 sharing of resources. With these with these words, I will conclude. Ki shiksha jo hai uspe sabka ek saman adhikar hai. किसी भी मजहब मजहब के नाम पे जाति के नाम पे या किसी और चीज के नाम पे कोई भी भेदभाव नहीं होना चाहिए यही हमारा उद्देश्य है यही मैसेज है कि नो चाइल्ड शुड बी डिप्राइव्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड वी हैव टू एंश्योर दैट वी अचीव द ग्रॉस एनरोलमेंट रेशियो 100% बाय 2030 थैंक यू सो मच